morning. Well, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday it was 31 degrees and we were sweltering and today it's 14 degrees and it's raining. But we really need the rain, so I'm happy about that. We're finally just a mile or two now from Leicester and we're shortly coming up to what it says on my navigational notes. Um, an enormous unprotected weir care is needed especially in time of flood and then in big red letters keep well over to the towpath side so uh, yeah yikes Is and crank Henry's cranking on past. Luckily, because of the lack of rainfall, although not today, obviously, the river's not in flood, so the pool should be much less. A lot of herons over there. rather nice. And now for a while, in and out of Leicester, we're going to be on the River Saw. I do like a river. Nice design. over that way is De Montford University rather nice structure and down there yeah nice interesting architecture I wonder what those things are on the top well, these are the first moorings and there's not exactly room but we're going to do a cheeky little moor on the end here we've moored in London we can moor anywhere we're on just but it's secure our bedroom is very close to that um, bridge so it's gonna have to be earplugs tonight anyway off to the market now Well, we've been in Leicester a day and a night um, and we were going to stay a bit longer, but it's a bit of a party town. Um, so if you're on a boat and you're coming up to moor here, I just warn you at the weekend, it can be a little bit noisy. It was, um, well, it was quite loud until about four this morning. And when it wasn't people laughing on the way home, it was um, sirens going. So we didn't really sleep last night. So we are just gonna potter up to the water meadows further up. And I'm dying to find somewhere to have a swim. Apparently it used to be a real, um, I mean, a lot of Olympians used to swim in Leicester, but the council don't like you swimming here now. So I'm gonna go a bit further and see if there's somewhere I can find to swim there. I just fancy some cold water. I've got a really achy back these days and um, a bit of cold water immersion sorts that out. In the meantime, I'm making a nice lamb shank stew for tonight because the weather is still a bit chilly. And I've got this rather interesting looking Scottish red beer, Caribbean rum cask, sounds lovely. So I think lamb shanks cooked in that, in the wonder bag, is the order of the day. Whew. These are the Friars Mill visitor moorings. And these look like they might be a bit quieter. So next time we come, these are the ones we'll aim for. 
And there's water. Ah, oh, damn it. Ew, no thanks. I've got to say, this bit of canal back down to Leicester is the most rubbish laden I've ever seen. You can see all along the edge of that weir, there's just plastic bottles balanced on the edge. And then back down there towards Leicester, it, oh, it's just heartbreaking, the litter. Today we are coming down the River Saw and it's absolutely beautiful. Once you get out of the outskirts of Leicester and the amount of rubbish sort of calms down. Also, the river isn't in great flow at the moment, so the rubbish isn't being brought down so far, but it just looks beautiful. It's not spoiled by plastic bags everywhere. I'm sure when there's a lot of rainfall, it's, it's all brought down here, sadly. But at the moment, it's absolutely beautiful and we're traveling down with a couple that we met um stephen and jerry which is great because it makes doing the locks so much easier and it's a really windy river so you have to you can't go too fast because you can easily go around the bends in the wrong uh direction so we're just really enjoying it i can't believe you can just have a river like this and a boat going down it it's marvelous and in fact, it's so lovely, I'm just going to give you a few moments of scenes from the River Saw. End of our bit of the river saw. 
and ahead it says the River Trent and North. I have to say, I think this has been my favourite bit so far in two years, the River Saw. It's fantastic. The little Henry hiding in the rock. I didn't know where you went. Well, we finished last night at Besson's Lock, um, just coming off the River Trent and onto the Nottingham Arm. And we went down about five miles of the River Trent. And I couldn't really film it because <clears throat> it's a really big river compared to the Saw, and I was going quite fast, giving the engine a really good workout because uh, diesel engines just chug along in the canals, and to give them a good workout every now and again doesn't do them any harm. And today, we're up and off early into Nottingham, which is only about three miles away. And then we're going to wait there for a couple of days to pick my brother up, who is going to come onto the tidal trench with us. So that's a whole nother story. That will be in the next video. Um, and we've got to get ready for that. Um, so we're going to finish off in Nottingham today. And um, it's a really hot day. The weather's going to turn in a couple of days, but we're just really enjoying the heat today. Well, they're trying to keep out of it a bit as well. Loving the colours and design of that boat. Bird on a wire. Really nice colours. And now we're in Nottingham, famous for lace and luddites. And we decided to go and visit the caves, which are carved out all under the city. Some of them date back to the 9th century and there's around 500 of them. They've been used as uh, cesspits, ice caves, tanneries, um, secret meeting rooms, pub cellars. And during the Second World War, they were used as air raid shelters. The rock is sandstone, so it was very easy to carve out. So people who had very small homes to live in would cut down into the rock to make some extra space. And all of this history is all laid out there. It's dead interesting. So if you go to Nottingham, I really highly recommend going to see these caves. Well, that's it for this Leicester and Nottingham video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. We are now getting ready to go on our Trent adventure, which will be two days on the non-tidal Trent and two days on the tidal Trent and we'll be covering quite a few miles in those days. We're a little bit nervous uh, as you always are when you go on a tidal river but we've got everything ready, we've got our anchors, we've got our life jackets, we've got or we will have our charts uh, when we've bought one from the lock keeper and we're as prepared as we can be. Well, you always have to be cautious on the tidal river because they're just not the same as canals so hopefully the next time you see us we will have arrived in Yorkshire safely so thanks for watching see you on the next video please do comment and subscribe bye for now